Hi, my name is Michael Kalshaw Maurer. I'm a postdoctoral researcher with Cybers at the University of Arizona. This module is Data Management 1, one of several modules devoted to data management. We'll be talking through some background on principles of fair and open data, and later complete an exercise where you will download data from the Cybers data store and upload data back to it. So what is FAIR data? Well, FAIR is an acronym, and the FAIR data principles are findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. So a lot of this has to do with creating metadata for your data to make it uh, clear what the data is about, to make it easier to find that data and to reuse it. Uh, Cybers can make using metadata a lot easier, and we'll be showing you a bit more about that later on. So how does FAIR data compare to open data? Well, open data must be free for use and distribution by anyone, whereas data can have restricted access and still be considered FAIR. On the other hand, uh, just because data are open and free for use and distribution by anyone doesn't mean that they're easily findable, interoperable, or reusable by others. It's also worth noting that FAIR is a spectrum and not necessarily a binary. Your data can be more or less fair, whereas open data have to be free for use and distribution by anyone. So the fair principles are a set of principles and not hard and fast rules. You shouldn't feel too bad if you uh, can't necessarily make, make your data as fair as it possibly could be all the time. Fair principles are, as we just noted, different from open data. They make it easier to share your work with others. They can help you organize and access your own data. And they make your data fit better into the data lifecycle. Well, what is the data lifecycle, you might ask? This is an image of the data lifecycle. So we can start at the top and begin with planning how you're going to collect, store, and generally uh, work the rest of your data into the data lifecycle. Then there is data collection, assurance to uh, check the quality of the data, uh, describe the data uh, using metadata, as we discussed before, preserve the data in uh, some sort of backup so that it will be kept safe, discover, so this means making our data findable and it means that uh, others can discover our data or you can dis discover others' data, then integrate, so integrating other data into your own work or having your data integrated into others' work. And finally, analyzing data, which then leads back to more planning for the next round of data collection. So thinking of your data as more of a living, breathing thing, less than a, a, a static piece of information that you collect and, and store and use once, uh, FAIR principles and cybers can help your data uh, enter into the data life cycle and become uh, a living, breathing thing. So how do you make your data fair? Well, it's going to vary from field to field. So as we discussed, uh, some fields may have more uh, restrictions on the privacy of data, such as medical data. It happens along a continuum. As we discussed before, uh, making your data more fair isn't necessarily something you'll be able to do all at once. And if there are restrictions for various reasons on your ability to make the data fair, shouldn't mean you should give up on it entirely. You can use this tool linked here to assess how fair your data are. Uh, making your data fair may also depend on your technical skills, but it can be much easier with Cybers tools. So now we'll begin an exercise showing you how to download and upload data using the data store. Uh, you can find instructions for this on the course website. 